Be careful. You might have allergy. Allergy? What's that, Professor Coco? Well, get ready, little fellas. Today, we'll learn about allergies. Time to Coco Dive! Imagine walking outside on a lovely morning. Suddenly, you start sneezing non-stop. Your nose runs, your throat feels itchy, and you feel congested. If this happens again and again, it's easy to assume these are allergy symptoms. But what are allergies? Allergies are unusual immune reactions to things that are normally harmless, like milk, animal dander, pollen, peanuts, and more. For most people, these things are completely harmless. But for some people, the body makes a big mistake. It sees these harmless things as dangerous invaders. These harmless things are called allergens. So, when an allergen enters your body, your body reacts like, Hey, what is that? Is it trouble? Inside your blood are special protectors called white blood cells. Their job is to catch real dangers, like germs and viruses. But in people with allergies, their white blood cells get confused. They treat allergens as if they're something harmful. When white blood cells think an allergen is dangerous, they release a chemical called histamine in the bloodstream. Histamine is the reason you start sneezing, itching, getting watery eyes, and a runny nose. As histamine tries to push the allergen out of your body, allergy symptoms start showing. It's your body's warning system activating, even though nothing harmful is happening. Because allergens have many forms, the allergy symptoms people experience aren't all the same. Common allergy types include pollen allergy, food allergies, and pet allergy. Each time, the body is reacting to something harmless as if it's a real threat. Now, why do some people get allergies while others don't? Some kids are born with genes that make their immune systems more sensitive than others. When parents have allergies, their children are more likely to have them too. It's almost like passing down a family trait. But genes aren't the only part of the story. Scientists noticed something surprising. Kids who grow up in very clean surroundings often develop more allergies. But kids who play outside, get muddy, touch grass, and meet animals tend to have fewer allergies. Why? Because their immune systems learn early on what is dangerous and what isn't. Some allergies can be dangerous and lead to anaphylaxis, a severe reaction causing swelling, feeling faint, difficulty breathing, and intense itchiness. If you notice any of these symptoms, inform your parents and visit a doctor immediately. Doctors treat it quickly with a special medicine, which helps the body calm down. And here's something surprising. Some people are allergic to water. This rare condition, called aquagenic urticaria, causes itchy, painful rashes whenever the skin touches water. There are also unusual allergies. Some people What's react this? just from handling money, and some develop allergic symptoms while exercising. Little fellas, today you have learned about allergies. See you in the next video with another adventure. Coco out!